Joining me now from New York City, urologist and director of men's health and urologic oncology at St. Francis Hospital, Dr. David Samadhi. Doctor, um, when we look at this as a pandemic, a so-called global pandemic, I have to laugh, especially when we consider what happened six, 700 years ago on the planet. To call this a global pandemic is a lie. It is a political pandemic. That's what we're looking at. Because when you look at the global numbers, 9.4 million cases and a total death count, and I have rounded up here, doctor, 485,000. Now, I, I'm not laughing at that number per se, but 485,000 in a world that has somewhere in the neighborhood of 6 billion, with a B, 6 billion people, and we know that about 150,000 people die across the planet every day. And we know what happened with the Black Plague. 200 million people, not infected, 200 million people dead, estimated, and that's probably a low number. This is what the mainstream media are not reporting. So your point is well taken. I agree with you. I think it's important for public to know that everything should be put in perspective. For example, the headlines last night in the mainstream media, and I was watching it, is that the numbers are on the rise. In many certain states, they're doubling. Our hospitals are filling up with patients, and ICUs are filling up at 97%. When I make it sound like that, people start to panic. They let fear get ahead of science and facts, and you can spin this in any way that you want. Exactly your point. But the truth is that Alex, Alex Azar just mentioned that these hotspots are only about 3% of the counties out there. They need to understand that while the numbers are going up, the death rate, at the end of the day, it's not the number of hospitalization, it's not the number of ICU beds, it's the death rate. That's what we look for to see what we're doing with our outcome and results and our treatment options and our screening. The more you test, the more you're going to find. The more you open the economy, more people are going to have this. The good news is that we learned a lot from the mistakes that we made in places like New York and New Jersey. Please don't mix the sick patients in nursing home right. with the healthy ones. Make yeah. sure you cover the elderly. Make sure that over 65 people, you know, are not out there. But the young guys that are getting 18 to 29 that get this, they may get have no symptoms. They may get have some mild symptoms. And finally, they recover. So the bottom line is we have a lot more medications. We know how to take care of these people. And these lockdowns, you know, Graham, are not going to cure. This is not going to no. take care of this virus. No. It, you know, Texas is going to get better. And next thing you know, another state is going to pop like a mushroom until 60 to 70 percent of Americans have this. And through herd immunity, then we'll be fine. All the lockdowns do is delay it and delay the inevitable and delay herd immunity. And that's why in California, for example, we're seeing a spike in cases, yet the governor is not closing things down again. And that proves to me that this response is politically motivated. Um, but when we look at the deaths, and you hit a, uh, the nail on the head here, no deaths are not going up. And I, doctor, I have conversations with friends of mine daily, and they say, more people are dying, more people are dying. No, that's just simply not the case, and this graph shows it. Yeah, we hit a peak somewhere around April in terms of uh, the cases of, of, of ICU uh, patients and the number of deaths, and the, and the trend lines follow each other, but the trend lines are going down with that peak in April, and this is important for people to understand. And so what do we glean, doctor? I, I, I'll give you my interpretation, I wanna hear yours. But if the number of cases is going up in, in certain regions, but the number of deaths is going down, it tells me that what this virus has done is worked its way through the vulnerable in our society, did a lot of damage, killed X amount of people that probably the seasonal flu would have killed. But that's another story. But now it's working its way through the younger sectors of our society who are able to sustain and maybe show no symptoms whatsoever of this virus. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.